descended upon the slumbering life, the moonlight burning the monsters at night. For I, Dracula, have risen upon my grave to pray a roaming virgin for a bite. Oh, apologies. I was in the moment there for a second. <laughs> so it has descended upon us once more. October, and eventually Halloween. Well, by the time this video is out, Halloween is probably just around the corner or is already over. But what is exactly Halloween in the RPC universe? There are some tales within the authority culture that Halloween is merely nothing more than a fun event to celebrate the spooky seasons. But there are those who believe that, that Halloween is more than just a casual event. Some say its historical origins to Ireland may have been the result of paranormal phenomena, an anomaly manifestation. Though we can't exactly confirm whether or not this is anything, we've noticed a recent trend of unusual activity in the span of October, which may indicate something lurking in the darkness than what we have initially observed. So, in the spirit of Halloween, we're going to be looking over a few RPCs that are disturbing to some viewers. Actually, let's try something for the Halloween spirit. Hey, my name is Dr. Pearson, and welcome to what appears to be a desk and a microphone and some articles to look at. We'll be looking over at the top disturbing RPC articles that we've that we've selected uh, in accordance to some people's suggestion in the Discord server. So, sit back, relax, and make sure to follow the containment protocols for the following anomalies. Registered Phenomena Code 039, Object Class Beta White. Registered Phenomena Code 039 is a humanoid anomaly that resembles a deep sea diver wearing a malted brown diving suit complete with a helmet, bonnet, and a corselet. While the exact origins for RPC 039 remain largely unknown, the helmet of the suit seems to have a three bolt composition characteristic of 19th century Russian naval diving gear. Despite having all the components of a diving suit, it's been observed that RPC-039 is not attached to any umbilical or air pump, which means that there is no air pump directly into the suit. Currently observing the Irish seafloor at a depth of 120 meters, it steadily paces on the seafloor at 0.7 meters per second. This speed has remained unchanged since discovery, though the direction in which RPC-039 seemingly is heading appears random. The subject is often in a quote, passive state, where it simply maintains the aforementioned walking pace. However, once every two to three weeks on an indiscriminate day and time, RPC-039 will enter an unquote, active state that is discerned by the emission of a vertical beam of light designated as RPC-039-alpha from the seafloor to the surface. The surrounding waters in proximity to the beam will heat up at a high temperatures, with estimates usually around 130 degrees Celsius or 266 degrees Fahrenheit in equivalence. This light will continue to emit until it reaches the atmosphere and appears nothing more than sunlight reflection to any civilian nearby. While RPC-039-alpha is active, a faint noise is produced which is discerned by an anode according to authority researchers. Registered Phenomena Code 042, Object Class Gamma Red Registered Phenomena Code 042 is a tall humanoid anomaly that is discernible by its elongated arms and an abnormal extension of its lower jaws. The lower jaws contains unusual acute supernumerary teeth with varying length and sharpness. In theory, the purpose of the extended jaw serves to adjust its vocal frequency. Skin tissues appear to be in the notable state of decomposition and at the advanced stage of decay, with exposed skeletal structure apparent around the body. When attacked and sustaining trauma, RPC-042 is able to mutate and develop several properties, from mass increase and sharpening of vertebrae and fingers, to the Clazo effect causing electronic devices to be fried. The Clazo effect mentioned is a phenomenon produced by RPC-042. This effect occurs when the subject enters an aggressive behavior when exposed to noises produced at 20 decibels and above. When aggravated, the subject will screech at a high pitch, approximately 130 decibels, referred to as the Clazo effect, and target those who produce the most noises. This effect will last around 2-6 to six seconds, causing devices to fry as aforementioned. However, human effects differ as known psychological effects develop when exposed, 
ranging from anxiety, schizophrenia, and suicidal tendencies. It is important to note that the development of these disorders are usually temporary. As of June 7th, Register Phenomena Code 042 is currently uncontained following an exacerbating breach that resulted in casualties. The following audio is a non-hazardous sample of RPC 042's Classo effect. Should you experience any following symptoms, it is advised to seek immediate medical attention. Register Phenomena Code 063, Object Class, Gamma Orange Register Phenomena Code 063 is a humanoid anomaly that is, according to authority research notes, to be a class 4 extra-dimensional entity capable of entering people's dreams and producing hellish nightmares. The subject is discerned by its unusual black skin pigment with evident glows from the eyes and arms, specifically the ulna and the radius. Strangely, light does not appear to be absorbed or deflected when directed at the subject, with any light source directed visibly through its anatomy. Subjects who are affected by the entity are designated as RPC-063-1. RPC-063-1 instances, when in the presence of the entity, will fall into a deep sleep. 063-1 instances are noted to display high blood pressure and physical twitching around the neck and muscles during the duration of their sleep. These instances will be unaware that they've entered a state of deep sleep and visualize random dreams manifested by their own mind. However, their dream will drastically transition into a quote nightmare when the instance's phobia will appear and be displayed by RPC-063. RPC-063 will often coincide with the phobia and simply observe the RPC-063-1 instance. This nightmare, as quoted, is emitted by RPC-063, which will cause a circulatory shock, followed by a cardiac arrest. Within hours, RPC-063-1's body will cease to exist and be substituted by a shadow outline of their body. Photographs of Register Phenomena Code 063 are hazardous, but the one displayed in front of you has been cleared by the Office of Analysis and Science. Should you encounter any hazardous material or imagery that depicts the entity itself, it is advised you destroy it or hand it over to the proper authorities. Registered Phenomena Code 157, Object Class, Beta Orange Registered Phenomena Code 157 is a Caucasian humanoid anomaly that appears to be suffering from severe malnutrition. The subject is denoted to exhibit several deviations of that to the standard human anatomy, with lacking of body organs such as the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Anatomical analysis has revealed that the subject's gastrointestinal tract lacks native digestive microbiota and appears to be twice the length of that of the average human. Inside of this contains large communities of unknown variety of stem cells that are lining the small and large intestinal tract. Should select polymers be ingested, such as protein, these stem cells will begin to diffuse and propagate throughout the subject's body. Ingestion appears to be a catalyst of a reaction that results in the propagation of stem cells in various regions of the body, via the lymph nodes and blood vessels. Tumorous growths would formulate and aggregate throughout the body before gradually diminishing approximately 12 to 24 hours post-digestion. The following is a test log submitted by a collaboration of two level 3 researchers. Only test logs number 2, 4, and 5 will be authorized for divulsion. Registered Phenomena Code 157 Test Log Number 2 Protein Farm Chicken Results RPC-157 developed an elongated jaw teeth fused, a hunchback, a deceased brain size, and increased hair growth. Registered Phenomena Code Test Log Number 4 Protein Horse Results RPC-157's cranial and skeletal restructuring of ocular cavities to the sides of the head, resulting in temporary blindness, an increase in lung size, and an enlarged chest cavity. Registered Phenomena Code Test Log Number 5 Protein Human Results 
RPC-157 rapidly increased in both muscle mass and frontal lobe size. Medical staff had to perform a decompressive craniotomy to prevent permanent brain damage. During the operation, a heptagram was uncovered, carved on the inner wall of the skull. Register Phenomena Code 163 Object Class Beta Red Register Phenomena Code 163 is a designation for an anomalous object and humanoid, denoted as RPC-163-1 and RPC-163-2, respectively. RPC-163-1 is a pentagon-shaped baptismal font made out of white marble. Each side of the baptismal front is adorned with engraved copper plates that depict deformed human figures performing sacrificial rites to... The baptismal font is constantly filled with 2.4 liters of human blood, with testings revealed that the DNA contained within the object contains varying blood types. Attempts to empty the baptismal font have failed as it refills itself through unknown means. RPC-163-2 is a humanoid entity that appears to dress much like a traditional Romantic Catholic nun, with only their facial features, palm, and bare feet visible. While appearing human in nature, Thermographic and radiographic analysis have shown no signs of bone or organ in its configuration. When a human body, either alive or deceased, is within a 10 meter range from the entity, it will turn towards the subject and enter a rage state upon visual contact. During this phase, RPC-163-2 will widen its mouth and emit a high-pitched screech, which will then stand in all four with its abdomen turned upwards. The entity will then proceed to move erratically towards the subject, with its shoulder, knee, and elbow joints dislocated to move faster. However, an anomalous phenomenon occurs after 60-32 hours after a subject is consumed by RPC-163-2. Between those periods, a human fetus, denoted as RPC-163-3, will begin to form within the baptismal fund, otherwise known as RPC-163-1, and rapidly grow into a physically matured human infant within 15 minutes. During the initial phase of its life cycle, RPC-163-3 will constantly emit loud cries consistent with a human infant in distress. The fetus will then use the blood from the baptismal font to feed itself and rapidly mature to that of an adult, losing its human characteristics. RPC-163-3 instances will appear disfigured and less human, possessing agile abilities such as running at great speed and exerting enough force to bend steel metal. Many instances are considered aggressive, hostile to anyone within their vicinity. The fetuses are able to withstand several .45 caliber shots to the chest and head, However, no abnormal resistance is shown when it comes to fire, thus incineration is the most effective way to neutralize any RPC-163-3 instances. Registered Phenomena Code 167 Object Class Beta Red Registered Phenomena Code 167 is the designation for a society of entities composed entirely of animate snow. RPC-167 are sapient and aggressive to any individual, causing aggressive attacks against persons through hyperthermia and frostbite each year. RPC-167's designations stem from two observed variants of the animate snow species, RPC-167-alpha and RPC-167-bravo, respectively. RPC-167-alpha is the most common designation for any RPC-167 anomaly. These entities typically assume a form visually similar to a human head, torso, and upper arms. On rare occasions, they've been observed to take forms of Their method of traverse is by controlling the surrounding snow and making the snow either push them or go behind the entity. Observed RPC-167-alpha in the wild has been noted to attack subjects by wrapping around them until succumbing to hyperthermia as aforementioned. RPC-167-Bravo are the rare types, only making up 10% of the species and are capable of assuming the form of a wide variety of objects and animals by absorbing ambient liquid to increase their volume. These instances are portrayed as above RPC-167-Alpha instances, much like an alpha in wolf packs. Instances of these species are much larger in terms of weight and size, capable of manipulating any water and curing many dehydration diseases. Testings of these capabilities are ongoing but inconclusive. Estimated casualties as a result of attacks committed by RPC-167-A and -B are at in total. The following are messages frequently left behind by RPC-167-B instances 
written in snowy areas. Some messages have been translated from their native language to English. Canada, winter of 1999, quote, thank you. Israel, winter of 2000, quote, you help. Siberia, winter of 2019, quote, find us. Register phenomena code 508, object class beta orange. Register Phenomena Code 508 is a location for an abandoned children's science museum located in <laughs> County, Nebraska. The structure, designated as RPC 508-1, was believed to have been built in the late 1970s, following an incident in 1990 <laughs> involving several children vanishing into RPC 508-1 within the same day, RPC 508 was seized and contained by the authority. RPC 508-1 appears to be a relatively normal building with both materials and architecture from the era. Recent reports, however, of a room made out of organic muscle tissue indicate the building may possess anomalous properties of their own. The location of this room is within RPC 508-1 remain inconsistent, indicating that the single room is capable of transporting itself throughout the building. RPC 508-2-6 are the designations for a group of brightly colored humid anomalies composed of plastinated organic material. These entities originally served as a decoration for an exhibit regarding quote human senses, with each corresponding to a particular sense. While being chemically identical to non-anomalous plastinated human cadavers, all instances lack some or all typical human facial features. Each instance will have exaggerated versions of the represented sensory organ on the body, similar to the quote cortical homunculus neurological model. The following are descriptions for RPC 508 2 through 6. RPC 508 2 is a light yellow humanoid with overly large eyeballs bulging slightly from their sockets. Of the five known instances, 508 2 is the most competent at navigation, capable of nearly 360 degree vision. Due to its high sensitive retinas, 508-2 is capable of sight under notably dim light conditions, with the average within its environment being measured around 3 lumens. RPC 508-3 is a pink humanoid with a large nose covering most of the face's surface area. RPC 508-3 possesses a heightened sense of smell and the ability to artificially produce scents via sternitation or sneeze. Commonly observed scents from CSD personnel include buttered popcorn, soft pretzels, and <laughs> RPC 508-4 is a blue humanoid with hands roughly five times the size of an average adult male, and prehensile feet of similar size. 508-4's extremities are notably sensitive, being able to detect minute changes in air pressure and temperature. Due to the lack of facial sensory organs, RPC 508-4 typically crawls on extremities around 508-1 and in some circumstances will climb through the structure. RPC 508-4's locomotion has often been described by authority researchers as quote skittish and quote spider-like. RPC 508-5 is a green humanoid with large ears and a 5cm diameter hole functioning as a mouth on the center of the face. Testing devices show that RPC 508-5 can hear and track frequencies up to roughly 105,000 Hz sent through radio. RPC 508-5 has also been observed vocalizing through its quote mouth at ranges within human hearing. It can accurately mimic animal and machine sounds and to an extremely limited degree, human speech. Judging by the pitch, the mimic speech resembles an average adult woman, but on some occasions the speech may resemble a young child instead. RPC 508-6 is a dark purple humanoid designated by authority researchers as the most hazardous of the five instances. RPC 508-6 features a large mouth lined with teeth and a jaw that makes up the most of the mass of the head, as well as the large tongue reaching down to the torso. 508-6's mouth constantly salivates a highly vicious fluid, with samples being shown to contain genetic material of roughly individuals. RPC 508-6's mouth typically stays open as the tongue cannot retract, but when attempting to destroy a foreign object or incapacitate a prey, it uses a biting force that is estimated to be roughly 3000 psi. Puncture wounds around the base of the tongue suggest RPC 508-6 uses this biting sparingly. 
Observed activity has shown that RPC 508 2 through 6 are less effective on adult humans, but are otherwise actively threatening to children. Register Phenomena Code 648, Object Class Alpha Orange. Register Phenomena Code 648 is a forest located in northwestern flank of Iwamazawa, Hokkaido, Japan. Measuring 82 kilometers squared, RPC-648 has been observed to manifest when subjects, designated as RPC-648-alpha, known to have psychological trauma, come within the proximity of RPC-648. RPC-648-alpha will enter a brief stage of semi-consciousness where they are driven to walk inside RPC-648 in the late evening hours and approach an RPC-648-2 instance when exposed to the environment. Within proximity, RPC-648-8 instances will then lay before the trunk of RPC-648-2 before hoisted by one of its roots and terminated via neck snapping. When unaffected subjects interrupt RPC-648-alpha in any way, RPC-648-alpha will enter an agitated and hostile state and will attempt to harm those who disturb them through available means, including pulling them towards an instance of RPC-648-2. Despite the lack of explanation for RPC-648-8 instances drawn in the location due to their disorder, persons within the forest will gradually develop acute stress disorder or otherwise known as ASD. RPC-648-2 refers to the coniferous tree species, the Picea aloquiana, found only within designated location. When an RPC-648-8 instance expires, the tree utilizes their roots and branches to latch onto the corpse of an RPC-648-8 instance, consuming the corpse as a neutral source through absorption. Within the span of 3-4 to four hours, the corpse decomposition rate severely increases and the vital organs and skin tissues would be absorbed, leaving the skeletal remains untouched. RPC-648-2 instances are capable of reproduction through unknown means, though this has been determined to be the result of the absorption process within a time of reproduction varying between a day to a week. RPC-648-3 refers to an unknown extra-dimensional female entity located within the Kawajiri Shrine. The subject is often encountered within the vicinity of the shrine, visibly wearing a tattered old Japanese traditional outfit. Damage upon its clothing appears to be indicative of slash marks. RPC-648-3 does not manifest in broad daylight, generally observed to be active after 2100 hours. When any person encounters RPC-648-3 within the proximity of the shrine, RPC-648-3 will immediately attack them with an old katana that appears to be covered in a mixture of rust and human blood. Further information pertaining to RPC-648-3 is currently unavailable. Due to the location's unusual activity within late hours, electronic devices are affected by certain magnetic field hotspots across RPC-648. These hotspots mostly affect devices by absorbing the electronic energy, resulting in the batteries of the devices to be drained. It is advised to all visitors to not enter RPC-648. In doing so will result in Mobile Specialized Team Mike 9 for apprehension and detainment of any trespassers. Should protocols fail to detain you, you are not safe within these sacred grounds. Registered Phenomena Code 650, Object Class Beta Orange. Registered Phenomena Code 650 appears to be a scarecrow, decorated to appear as a human skeleton. The lower body from the hips are evidently missing, with the upper body, including the torso, arms, and head, remain visible. Parts of its body are obscured by its clothing, from its hat, hood, and brown cloth that covers the torso and arms. The subject is animate in nature, but it displays sentience and hostility towards the common human species. However, it's been reported to remain inanimate for a brief period, which is theorized to be the result of invoking uneasiness to observers or remain in a passive state. It is observed to attack people by lacerating and stabbing at the chest, with occasional wounds upon the neck and face. It is speculated that RPC-650 is fueled by strong emotional reactions, particularly human fear. Individuals who do not demonstrate this behavior towards RPC-650 may render it innocuous. However, subjects who present a fearful nature towards RPC-650 but not visibly remain vulnerable due to RPC-650's ominous nature. 
Recovered from a wooded area in the suburban neighborhood of Iowa, RPC-650 was contained following a spree killing of 11 victims within an hour. Each victim was reportedly suffering from deep laceration and stab wounds. According to eyewitness accounts, the attacker was said to be, quote, a scarecrow, which the former resulted in the involvement of authority investigators. Following the discovery and containment of the, quote, scarecrow anomaly, RPC-650 was taken in temporary containment at Site-002. Due to the nature of the investigation, a replica of RPC-650 was set up within the neighborhood, with the public informed of a spree killer sadistically bringing a scarecrow whilst attacking the victims involved. For security reasons, personnel at Site-002 that's assigned to RPC-650 must pass a personal panic test with 80% markings. Registered Phenomena Code 994, Object Class Beta Purple Registered Phenomena Code 994 is a large and highly durable avian humanoid entity measuring approximately 2.5 meters. The subject is coated in a thick layer of black suit and red scraps of cloth believed to provide sufficient kinetic protection to withstand small and medium caliber ammunition, though firearm types vary. It is impossible to extract a sample for RPC-994 stick layer or examine the anatomy of RPC-994 due to its inherent hostile nature. The subject's facial features appears to be composed of keratin with a sharp beak and two hollow eye sockets. These emit a very strong smell of hydrogen sulfide or a quote rotten egg according to personnel. RPC-994 does not display any capacity for learning, reasoning, and communication. However, it seems purely driven by instinct to, quote, destroy everything around it. The reasoning behind this destructive nature is relatively unknown. When RPC-994 makes physical contact with an object using its elongated hands, the object will gradually be coated with the same layer of black suit. When the object is fully covered, gases such as hydrogen sulfide, bromine monochloride, and RPC-994-B are produced. RPC-994 appears necessitated to prioritize physical contact and obtaining organic matter above all else. RPC-994-Bravo is the designation for a highly flammable gas produced during the degradation process of objects post-contact with RPC-994 as aforementioned. In large quantities, it is chemically toxic to plants and humans. However, when a small dosage is inhaled into the lungs, a quote, natural gas mask film is formed. It is consistent in the fact that RPC-994-Bravo is not absorbed into the bloodstream and coats the inner membranes of the entirety of the lungs in a thin barrier. RPC-994-B absorbs gases heavier than elements commonly found in the air and prevents them from entering the bloodstream, hence the quote, gas mask effect. This has a 40 minute duration after inhalation and is excreted in the form of phlegm. Due to its unique and potential beneficiary use by authority field operatives, several armed teams currently are in use of this chemical compound for its protective use against chemical attacks. Based on observations, RPC-994 utilizes toxic gas emanations to regenerative capability and is infected by the explosions. It is hypothesized that RPC-994, quote, phases out during the explosion process. Register Phenomena Code 994 Incident Log 994-1 Date, September 10th, 19th Location, Site 15 Summary During routine transportation of the anomaly, damage has occurred to the cell structure, allowing RPC-994 to reach out and seize hold of agent for approximately 20 seconds. An explosion occurred with the force of 249.6 MJ as a result killing two personnel assisting in the transportation, with other personnel sustaining casualties. Eastern wing of Site-15 has been evacuated and closed temporarily. Approximately 40 minutes after the incident, a detachment was sent in to recontain RPC-994 and successfully transported to a new containment chamber. Containment protocols have been updated to maintain a distance of 3 meters from RPC-994's cage at all times, marked visibly in the aforementioned distance.